was a great season for us. Uh, one, of, one of the best in, in school history. Uh, the thing about that team uh, that was so much fun to coach is how those guys all came together and had one common goal uh, in the chemistry uh, that developed uh, for that team. Uh, as, as good as I've seen uh, on all the teams I played on, as good as uh, all the teams that I've coached uh, for sure, uh, how those guys came together. Uh, and that's what I'm looking for uh, with this group. Uh, we will miss DeAndre Kane uh, and Melvin Edgem tremendously. Uh, anytime you, you lose uh, the Big 12 Player of the Year, uh, also the, the Big 12 Scholar Athlete of the Year, uh, as well uh, as another All-American uh, that put up arguably uh, as good a number as anybody that's ever played basketball at Iowa State University, that's a lot to replace. Uh, I'm confident with the group that we've got coming back uh, as well as the, the newcomers that we've got coming in, uh, as well as a couple that we had sitting out uh, last year, uh, that by committee we can replace uh, somewhat of, of what those guys uh, left. Uh, starting with a couple uh, of the newcomers uh, that we have coming in. Uh, we'll start with Bryce Dejon Jones. Uh, he has been unbelievable for us uh, with everything that he has provided. Uh, as far as the three team practices that we've had since September 15th, uh, we've had two hours a week on the court uh, with our group. Uh, I'll just tell you stats, he's 12 for 15 uh, shooting the basketball, uh, including five for seven uh, from the three-point line. A uh, kid that can really, really score the basketball. Uh, tremendous size and athleticism uh, and, and a very versatile player that you can, similar to DeAndre, you can post him, uh, you can put him in isolation situations, and obviously he can knock down the three-point shot. Uh, Jameel McKay is a player that we'll get in the second semester uh, that will bring an element to this team that I've, never, I've certainly never had uh, with his ability to protect the rim, uh, his ability to run the floor, uh, and uh, he's really scoring the ball well in the block. Uh, he's put on a lot of good weight and size uh, and has really had a tremendous offseason uh, since he's been here, uh, including the second semester when he sat out uh, for us last season. Uh, Abdul and Nader, uh, let me just, I'll talk about this first with, with Abdul and Matt. Uh, you know, those two uh, will uh, serve a suspension uh, for some off-court incidents that happened uh, this offseason. Uh, they'll miss three contests. They'll miss the exhibition game and the first two regular season games. Uh, since that time, I've been very proud uh, of how both of those guys have conducted themselves uh, and will continue to conduct themselves uh, when they're in Iowa State uniform and on this campus. Uh, Abdul, uh, again, another newcomer. Uh, this season uh, is a guy that can flat out score the ball. Uh, 6'6", tremendously long, uh, and a guy that, uh, that can, again, score from a lot of different ways. You talk good shot, bad shot, uh, sometimes it doesn't register with Abdul because he can make tough shots, and he's just one of those players that has, uh, has the ability to do that. Uh, a couple other guys, uh, Yor Yorgos uh, Salmporis, Yorgos, sorry, uh, Sal Salmporis, uh, has already put on uh, almost 20 pounds uh, since he's been on campus. Uh, I saw an article where he said he didn't like the American food. Obviously, uh, he's finding a way to stuff it in his body. Uh, I asked him what he had for dinner last night. He had three bacon cheeseburgers. I said, good job, big fella. Keep it going. Uh, again, you, you can't tease that length. He's, he's legitimate, uh, legitimately 7-1, uh, and he can shoot the heck out of the ball. You can tell he gets more comfortable every time uh, he's out there on the court, getting a little bit more used to the speed uh, and the physicalness of the American game. Uh, I think he's got a tremendously bright future. Uh, and then uh, other freshmen, uh, Clayton Custer, uh, is, again, he, he talked about Monte Morris when he came in last year. A little wide-eyed at first, like all freshmen are that step on campus. Uh, but again, he's kind of cut from the same cloth as Monte as far as his IQ, uh, his ability to make the right play, the simple play. Uh, and he's deceptively quick. Uh, and, he, and he has good elevation on his shot. Uh, and again, a guy with, uh, you look at our ball handlers uh, this year, really with Monte uh, being the primary guy. Uh, Naz uh, obviously played some his freshman year, uh, and then George, a guy that had almost a 30% usage rate for us a year ago. Uh, Clayton's a guy that can help us uh, get into an offense. So excited about all those guys. Uh, just a few of the new ones uh, that I mentioned. Uh, and then again, the guys we got coming back who, uh, again, you look at George Niang's body, the commitment that he had after he broke his foot uh, to keep himself in tremendous physical condition and in shape. Uh, and uh, again, what he uh, did for us the second half of last season uh, is, uh, is something where we'll run a lot of offense through him. And uh, I know he's going to be able to handle that uh, responsibility uh, and make the right play. Uh, for any team, there's have to, there has to be sacrifice. Uh, you can't be worried about your individual numbers, your individual statistics. Great things happen uh, to everybody if, uh, if you win. 
And we will. We will have uh, tremendous depth on this team. And uh, I'm excited about that depth. Uh, at the same time, it's probably going to cut some minutes down, which, again, I think will allow us to hopefully play a little faster uh, than we did a year ago. Uh, you know, and, and those guys, again, you talk about playing time. Who's going to get the minutes? I don't know yet. I, I know this. Uh, in the three team workouts we've had, uh, they've been unbelievably competitive, as competitive of practices uh, as we've had uh, in my five years uh, here at Iowa State because of that depth and because of the skill uh, that we have uh, you know, really, I'd say shoot 12, 13 deep. And uh, that's something that's going to be fun to see how it evolves. Uh, the great thing about the calendar right now is to get a little extra time, uh, being able to work with them some in the summers uh, on who is going to be uh, the guys, not only the play, uh, but playing crunch time. Uh, and that will be determined uh, by those guys. They will show me uh, who deserves to be out there on the floor. Uh, but I know this, they'll be very competitive practices and, and they'll be a lot of fun. Well, he, he sure could do an awful lot when... Uh, I don't know what do you call it, baby fat uh, that he had on on him. Um, he's he's such a, a versatile player. Again, when when you can score it uh, on the perimeter, the one thing I think we'll be able to do with George this year that I haven't really done in the past uh, is play bigger lineups where I can play him on the perimeter. Uh, and I think with uh, with his new physique trimmed down, I hope he has a shirt. He walks around the office with his shirt off all the time now. He's pretty proud of himself, but. Uh, We'll be able to uh, to use them on the perimeter and post them. Uh, you know, you can play big lineups uh, with, uh, let's say, Jamil and, and Daniel Adozi, or Jamil, who's had a great uh, offseason, by the way, and uh, or Yorgos. You know, you can play those three guys together. Uh, maybe you can mix in a little bit of zone uh, with a team like that that we haven't played much zone uh, in the past. It just, again, George is extremely versatile, one of the most in the country, and I think with his new slim down physique, uh, he'll, he'll be even more so. I don't think I'm going to have to motivate this group at all. Uh, they're pretty self-motivated. Uh, and when you have that, you're, you're certainly a step ahead uh, when you don't have to uh, teach effort uh, with your guys and, and talk to them about motivation. The big thing I've talked to them about is winning on the road. We have not done a great job, and I think that's prevented us from winning a Big 12 championship. Uh, certainly two seasons ago, uh, I thought it did. And that's a mental toughness. And again, I think this group has that. Uh, but we'll see. You know, you, you don't know for sure until you have that first true road contest, if you can uh, compete in those road games. Uh, but that's what it takes if you're going to, again, is Kansas has won 11 in a row. And if you're going to uh, get to the top and knock them off, which is going to be a, a very difficult task with what they have coming in, you have to win road games. Uh, you know, so that's something we'll, uh, we'll see with this group. But again, I don't think I'm going to have to go out there and in coach effort. You can go out there and coach basketball. And when you don't have to worry about that, that's, uh, that's, that's a great thing as, as a coach. It allows you to do a lot. Uh, you know, Jamil is just, he's, he's one of those kids. Uh, I guess we'll see it on uh, uh, Hilton Madness on, uh, uh, on the Texas weekend, um, what it looks like. Because, again, when you have a 6'10 kid that can run the floor like he can and touch his head on the rim, uh, you can do a lot with that. Uh, you can get out and pressure a little bit more defensively when you have that guy uh, that can block shots in the back. We were 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, most games uh, the four or five last year uh, you know Melvin was fairly athletic George not so much uh, so it didn't allow you to get out quite as much in pressure because you didn't have that guy to erase uh, if if the guys got into the paint uh, but yeah Jamil again w when you have the floor spread uh, the, the way we like to play and you have that guy rolling to the rim uh, that can catch a, a ball uh, 12 feet above the ground that's, uh, it, it, it allows you to do a lot of things. And it's, t it's tough for the defense. It's a pick your poison type thing. Are they going to take away the roll or are they going to give up a three point shot? And, uh, and again, we've got guys that can make you pay uh, if they're sucked in taking away the lob. This will be a group that we can do with uh, by committee. I'd, I'd certainly put George up there uh, at the top. I'd put Naz Long uh, up there uh, as one of the guys. Monte Morris uh, is a guy that uh, can provide very good leadership. I think Matt Thomas. Uh, is a guy that's been very vocal uh, with this team uh, in, in the workouts. Uh, Bryce being uh, being a guy uh, in his in his last year of eligibility. Uh, Dustin uh, also being another senior. I, was, I, I really do think this will be a team that leads by committee. Monte, he's just one of those guys that does whatever he needs to do uh, to help your team win. Uh, and again, I, I told him this a lot. I thought he had as big an impact on our team winning uh, last year as anybody that we had, and that included the guys. Uh, that all scored over uh, 16 points a game. Uh, you know, I guess I don't know if you call them the big three, but with uh, George and, and Melvin and DeAndre, uh, I'd put Monte up there as having an impact on winning as as much as any of those guys, especially at the end of the year, 
he had to be on the floor for me uh, because of his ability to defend. He always had the best perimeter uh, uh, offensive player. Uh, and when he needed to score the ball, he scored it. When he needed to pass it, he passed it. Uh, you know, Naz had some of that same uh, uh, type impact uh, on winning as well. So, you know, Monte, yes, I think his role will definitely increase. I think a lot of it just because he has the ball in his hands a lot more, and he is definitely ready uh, for that next step. On paper, I think we, sh we should be better defensively. One, because I think we're deeper. Uh, you know, we should, uh, should be able to have fresher bodies uh, in there. Uh, and, and, and you said it best, we've got more length uh, than I think we've ever had, uh, which absolutely helps, and that translates uh, to better defensive numbers. I thought we took a step in the right direction last year. Uh, I thought we did a better job closing off the paint. The one thing uh, where we didn't do as good a job last year was uh, uh, defending the three-point line. Uh, and again, when you get out there, you can run guys off the line when you have a guy that can protect the rim behind you. Uh, as opposed to closing out short. We've been working on that a lot. He had a, a series last week where he, he uh, Jamil loved me saying this, he threw Jamil a shot against the wall uh, and then went down and hit a jump hook over him uh, and then came down and, and dunked, dunked one on Dustin Hogue. It was the best stretch of uh, offense I've seen Daniel have since he's been here. Then he shot an air ball from 18 feet, but that, those first three plays were pretty good. Uh, but yeah, Daniel, again, I got another kid that's had a great uh, offseason. Our guys have been it's, it's fun to sit up my office and hear the ball bouncing uh, down here. And when you have a group that comes out uh, and spends as much time on the floor as our guys do, again, you're a leg up uh, because your guys love being in the gym. And, and again, you build chemistry uh, when you're in here as much as those guys are. One thing I've been talking to Bryce about is uh, his shot selection. And we looked at, his, uh, at all the shots he's taken uh, the last couple of years and where they've been in the court. He's actually taken a lot of shots on the line or one step inside the line. Uh, so when we talk about spacing the floor properly, uh, and, he, and he still has the habit of sometimes creeping in a step inside the three-point line, and you know the percentages show uh, shooting that three-point shot is so much uh, a higher true percentage shot uh, than shooting those long twos. So we've, we've been working on that. Uh, again, Monte shot a very good percentage from three uh, a year ago, especially at the end of the year. He, he really got on a roll. Uh, and he's, again, another guy's put a ton of time in here working on his three-point shot. Uh, but that's what you want. Offensively, you want to take uh, uncontested threes and shots at the rim, and defensively, you want to uh, try to take uh, make the, the other team take contested long twos. And so that's something we we talk about is try to get those guys shooting from where we want our offense to create shots.